one respect, the unbinding, is the unbinding of the, 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 the rules and the license raj that had held us back. I think the most important thing that has happened since 91 when the market economy changed is that the Indian public has the luxury of choice. We have become a very large market, very substantial market. Current estimates of the middle classes are about 250 million people. It's a demand that no MNC can, can ignore. People are no longer just looking for entering certain markets, but they're looking at leadership uh, position in, in, in the major markets of the world. But I think you rarely get markets which are the size of India, over a billion people, a very young population, willing to adopt to technologies. India is consuming, uh, consuming in a very big way. Indian economy is booming, capital is available, the world is paying attention to India. I would say this is really a great time for entrepreneurs. It's been able to establish the fact that you can do very large projects with kind of minimum time lags. If you want to do a project tomorrow in Bangalore and you want 200 people, we can put together a team in a week's time. You can't put together such a team anywhere else in the world. I think for the world, the renewed interest is about India's growth story and a sustainable growth story. They see that India is a long-term market for their products, for their services. They see India as a manufacturing hub for their products which they can sell to the domestic market as well as sell it in the global market. Well, it's a sign of confidence and it's a sign of capability. It's a coming of, uh, it's another phase, I mean, it's a coming of age. We are all committed to inclusive growth. Inclusive growth means if the country grows at 8%, the fruits of that growth should go to as wide a number of people as possible. We leapfrog the development. We go from one step to the other step, bypassing 30 years, 40 years of development. This is India.